Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back in. We are going to give our top 10 games of what we want to check out and possibly buy at Origins. And I know on Alex's list she has more demos, so she's not going to buy as much. Yeah. Me, I'm not sure what I'm going to buy, what I may or may not pick up. But I have a list, we have a list. But before we dive into our top 10s, I want to talk about a, a contest that I'm doing. So for two lucky subscribers, I'm going to be taking a copy of Bargain Hunter and Final Touch to Origins. Just come up, introduce yourself to me, let me know, or you know Alex know, mm -hmm. that you've seen this video on YouTube, on my channel, Christian Adventure Gamer, and we will give you one of these games. That way we at least have two to give away, mm -hmm. right? And we have some other games we will give away in the future, but that's, you know, I don't want to take too much just in case, you know, it's left in my bag the whole time. And yeah. if I'm buying stuff, I don't want to just keep adding more to the pile. But yes, we have two games and also talk about the contest that we have going on our Facebook page. Go to our Facebook page, which I will leave a uh, link in the comment section below in this video. And whoever can post the silliest zombie meme will be entered to win a copy of... Queen Games, Dark, Darker, Darkest. So, all right, so without further ado, let's jump into our top 10. So, Alex, you do your top 10, I'll do my top 10. Like, you do 10, I'll do 10, okay. so we'll go back and forth. So, all right, so number 10. So, my number 10 is Draftosaurus. Draftosaurus? Draftosaurus. So, Draftosaurus is by Ancama Games. It is a... a card drafting and dice rolling game. Yep, it's for two to five players, and it says playtime is 15 minutes. And currently, it looks like it's on sale for $25. Okay? So, my number 10 is Tuki. So, Tuki is by Next Move Games. It is a dice rolling pattern building game. It's an abstract strategy. Uh, it's prehistoric uh, for players one to four. It says it plays about 30 to, 30, or 30 to 45 minutes. It says ages uh, eight and up. And so, Next Move Games, uh, I'm very familiar with them because they are the ones that did a Reef, and they also did Azul, oh, okay. and those are very fun games, so I'm thinking maybe this game might be, you know, in that genre of abstract games that are simple and fun. Yeah. So, and then your number nine? My number nine is Miskatonic University. I did look second. So, Miskatonic is... Miskatonic University, the restricted collection, is is by Chaosium game. It's a hand management and pressure look card game, but also with the theme of horror. Mm -hmm. It's a two to five player game. Plays about thirty to forty five minutes, and it says eight, ages thirteen and up. So you're just there. The rating on it is 6.3, so I'm very curious to see how it plays and why it ranked kind of a middle score. My number nine is We Need to Talk. This is a game by Smirk and Dagger Games. I said Smirk and Dagger, but I mean Smirk and Laughter. And so this is a like intervention game. So like you know, it's kind of up my alley because of the the, the counseling aspect, the intervention that we need to talk. So it's a deduction and it's a humor game. It's a party game for 48 players. And so, you know, I'm, I'm interested in checking that one out. Number eight. My number eight is called Bubble Tea. And it's by Renegade Game Studios. It is a tile placement dice real time game. Mm -hmm. Plays one to five, 20 minutes to play. Age is eight and up, and it's about twenty dollars. Okay, my number eight is Feelings. This is a game by Social Sloth Games. This is a game that was actually on Kickstarter not too long ago, but it didn't it it didn't reach its goal. But they felt very securely about this game, and so they went ahead and produced it with their own funds, and but they allowed people to pre-order it. And so Fee Links, it says second edition, so I'm not sure what, what that means because, uh, you know, first edition hasn't technically come out. Yeah. It's a betting, wagering, partnership card game, and it's educational. It's educational in the sense that it talks about feelings. And so you, like, people that are playing have to match scenarios to certain feelings. 
And so I'm very curious to check that out because I want to get that for, you know, the place I work. I work at a couple different therapy places. So I work at a private practice and a community mental health. And so I'd like to get a copy for myself and maybe a copy for the private practice and maybe even a copy for the, the other place I work at. That way, you know, it, it has the benefit of reaching more people. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, three to eight players, 20 to 40 minutes, ages eight and up. It says about $35, so it's worth checking out. Alright, so my number seven is Monster Slaughter. So Monster Slaughter is made by Ancoma Games. It is an action point allowance system dice rolling game with the theme of horror and humor. Yep, it plays two to five players. Uh, 45 minutes to 60 minutes is what it says. Now, ages 14 and up, so you just make it. Uh, and ninety dollars right now, but I've seen it online. It pre-orders for sixty-eight, but most places are sold out of the pre-order. But I think it's definitely something worth checking out. That one I think is on my list as well. But yeah. we'll have to wait and see what number that falls in. And my number seven is Century: A New World by Plan B Games. And so I've heard it. You know, it's a worker placement game, but I've heard that it allows you to take this new game and mix it with Century Spice Road, I think, or maybe some of the other Century uh, games. So I'm really looking forward to that. And it does say it is for sale, and so that's something I really want to check out and pick up, possibly. Your number six? Uh, my number six is The Grim Masquerade. And this game that she is talking about, The Grim Masquerade, is being sold by Skybound Games, which also did the Stonebound Saga game. Uh, and it's actually made by Druid, uh, I think it's Druid City Games. Which they made the Grim Forest. Yep. And so this game is a little different. This one says, what? Set it's Collection. Bluffing card game. Yep. And so whereas the, the uh, Grim Forest is kind of a resource management type of game, I guess, I mean, I, that, that's what you're doing. You're gathering resources mm -hmm. and trying to build houses. Um, and so it says, this is two to six players. I do believe that the Grim Force is, you know, one to, I think, four players. And it says 20 to 40 minutes, eight plus. Uh, says USD MSRP is $25. So, something we're checking out. My number six is, oh, Echidna Shuffle. Echidna Shuffle is made by What's Up? Floag Games or Wasaplag Games. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's uh, it's a new name to me. I don't know. But this game looks super cute. So you have these plastic echidnas that look like ant little ant eaters. Mm -hmm. So I think they're in the same family. Looks like a hedgehog slash ant eater. And they're moving around these tiles trying to deliver little miniature bugs uh, to certain homes. And so it looks like a really fun, cute, cutesy kids game. Uh, it said it was released in 2018, yes, but nominated for a 2019 Origins Award in the Family Games category, so I thought I'd point out the game is on site for testing. I don't know what that means. But it says for sale, it says 2 to 6 players, and it plays in 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, six, ages 6 and up. Uh, and again, I think this is just a really cute family game. Alright, so my number 5 is Undo. So there's actually a couple of them. There's three different ones. Mm -hmm. So the first one is Undo Blood in the Gutter. It's a cooperative play storytelling adventure card game. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is Undo Cherry Blossom Festival, which is also, you know, same. Cooperative play yeah. a storytelling adventure game. And then the third one is Undo Curse from the Past. Yep. And they're all two to six players. They all play in 45... To, uh, two hours, 45 minutes to two hours, ages 10 and up, and they, they all say that they're for sale. It doesn't list a price though. All right, and so my number five is Talisman Batman, and they have the Super Villains Edition at Origins, which I'm not sure if I'll pick up the Super Villains Edition because it's, it's marked at $70, and it has to be, like to me, it has to be a really good game if I'm going to pick up the Origins for that much. Because it's a Talisman spinoff, you know. I really like Talisman games. My wife really likes Batman, and so if I think it's you know noteworthy, I may pick it up. But it's seventy bucks. You know, we have a budget, 
that will cut into some of the other things we want to get. But it says it's two to six minutes. It says it plays an hour to an hour and a half. It says 13 and up. So rolling dice, spin and move, uh, adventure comic book strip is what, it's, what it listed as. So I don't understand by spin and move. It says roll slash spin and move. I'd rather roll dice and move than spin a spinner. So hopefully there is no spinner. But uh, this is sold by the OP games, which um, I'm not familiar, but it's marked that it's being sold at the USA Opoly booth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my number four is Legends of Sleepy Hollow. This is sold by Dice Hate Me Studios. And it is an action point allowance system, cooperative play, and it's an adventure and fantasy. Mm -hmm. And this is a game that's only on demo. Yes. And so it's one to four players, 30 minutes to two hours, ages 12 and up. Which I would definitely love to make a demo of that. No. So my number four is a Haba game. And if you understand my top tens. And so I think about games that I can also teach with family therapy mm -hmm. or just work with kids. Uh, and then usually the higher games like the, on my list are the ones that are personally for me. Uh, and so this one is Honga. I hope I pronounced that right. Honga is an action po point allowance system and it's tile placement and it's a prehistoric period. I seen Rodney Smith playing this on, uh, on I think it was on his personal channel, not the Watch It Played. It looked like a very interesting game. It's a family game that plays 2 to 5, 30 to 45 minutes, ages 8 and up. And it says MSRP 50 bucks. So definitely something worth checking out. Uh, my number 3 is Sherlock Holmes, The Challenge of Irene Adler. This is sold by, it says Fireside Games, but it's listed at under Van Ryder Games location. Mm -hmm. And so this is a book, comic book strip. So I'm not sure if it's an actual game or just a comic book. So I wonder if it's like a choose your own adventure, because I've seen some of those already is like a choose your own adventure comic book. Yes. Like for instance, uh, The Crusoe Crew mm -hmm. is a graphic novel choose your own adventure type type game. That plays one to two players and it says USD $23. Okay. Yeah. So my number three is Wacky Racers by Simon Games. And so this is a racing themed game. I'm assuming that there is actually racing. I have not got to see any, well, I haven't seen very much footage of this game. Obviously when it first was announced, it piqued my interest because I used to watch Wacky Racers when I was a kid. You know, I love Hanna-Barbera. And so watching Wacky Racers or Scooby-Doo, mm -hmm. Jetsons, you know, those are the cartoons that were around when I was growing up. It plays Two to six players, and it says it plays in about 10 to 15 minutes. And so that's a very fast game, so I'm very curious to see, you know, how it's played. Mm -hmm. All right, so my number two is Sherlock. I'm oh, sorry, it's actually Sherlock Express. Yep, Sherlock Express is done by Blue Orange Games, and it's listed as a card game. It says two to six players, plays in 10 minutes, ages seven up, and MSRP is $10. And it's listed as for sale. But I do want to make a note of quite a few blue orange games that that I just they're honorable mentions. They're not on my top ten, but they're definitely games I want to check out. So there's Dragon's Cave, which is a bluffing game, and then there's Panic Island, which is a cooperative play. It says it plays in real time, so very interested to check that out. And then Planet. Planet is, Planet is like a tile placement game, but you're placing the tiles on a magnetic like what we call it, hexagon, he hexa, hex a hexagon. It's a 3D shaped, yeah. So like a cube, but it's not cube. It's a hexa something. What would, what would you call that term? Maybe I don't know. Oh, it, it's fine. But it's, it's, yeah, it's almost it's, like a die. So it's it, like a yeah, it's almost like a 12, 12 sided die almost. Is what yeah. it looks like. It's got, I, I think it's got 12 sides the way it looked. And then my number. Two is again Monster Slaughter. That's where that one fell. Was Monster Slaughter. Again, that is a game by Anacama Games, and it is a horror thing slash game where you have to go around this 3D cab uh, cabin, and you have to try to manipulate which human dies first, and try to get in the way of the other monsters from completing, you know, their their objectives. 
in a sense? My number one is Fickle. And that is by Bard Games, LLC. It is a hand management pressure luck card game with the theme of fantasy. It plays three to five players and it takes about 12 to 30 minutes and it's for ages 12 and up. Which this game is a demo. So I can't buy it. Alright, so my number one is Skull Tales Full Sail being sold by Eclipse uh, Editorial. But it says that it's being sold at the booth of Van Ryder Games. So this is an action point allowance system campaign battle card driven adventure exploration game. And so just imagine pirate ships, pirates plundering. It looks like it has a lot of cool miniatures. I was checking out some pictures of it. So it looks like there are uh, tiles that connect together and you have to manage your miniature through different objectives, I'm assuming, to collect you know, booty. You know? That's how it kind of looks. So I'm really interested in checking it out. I haven't had a chance to actually sit down because again, you know, this is last minute. And so I had no prep time because I didn't want to get too involved in this, especially at my last job. I was working 50 plus hours a week. Yeah. So, you know, bear with me. We may not be in the complete know of these games, but we will know more by the time we leave Origins. And I hope to be able to share videos of the things that we're going to see. So, that's our top 10 for Origins 2019. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I want to make mention that we have a contest going on for when we're at Origins. We're going to give a copy away of Final Touch and Bargain Hunters to you know two subscribers that come up to us uh, at Origins. Introduce yourselves. And, you know, obviously we have the... Uh, dark darker darkest that on our Facebook page so you know what thanks for tuning in see you guys next time yeah.